All right, gang. This is a uh, Napoleon Dynamite uh, demo, portrait demo. Just a real quick one, nothing complicated. Um, picture of Napoleon Dynamite. I know he's not as popular as he used to be, but I just figured since I've got to do it, might as well go ahead and do a quick demo on it. Hope you enjoy. All right, gang. We got the uh, Napoleon Dynamite portrait we're working on. So far, we've laid down a light brown, and now we're going back in around the forehead and nose and all the flesh areas. I've mixed up a uh, flesh tone, which is a little bit pinkish color for my uh, mid tones. I'll go back over that and lay down some additional colors over top of that. I'm using a very painterly kind of style uh, in which we're going to lay a lot of layers over top of layers. Um, some being a little bit more transparent than others for the effect. And hopefully when it's done, it may not be photo real, but it should look pretty good at a distance. Stay tuned. Okay, we've got a little bit more Napoleon Dynamite done. Um, basically, you're starting to block them in just a little bit. Working on the forehead. Put some eye color in. Then I'm just getting bored with it in general, so trying to get something up there to keep me interested. So once it's all done, it'll look really nice. All right, we've got Napoleon Dynamite. We've put a light flesh tone over the whole thing to kind of mute out some of the uh, undertones of the burnt sienna. Now we're working with a uh, raw sienna to put in some of the shadows, work into some of the detail in the hair. Um, going back and adding some more detail back into the glasses and to the forehead, to make it look more two-dimensional. Alright, I've worked on a couple of the details, filled in some larger areas, primarily been working on the one side of the face, uh, did some work on the lips. Starting to give it a little bit more of a two-dimensional effect. So, more days than I care to think about to finish this. Tell me what you think.